This is a unboxing of the Tiger One uh, with Zimmer Late Production. Um, it's been around a while for a while. Um, I think I've had it for probably two years now. Quite a nice illustration on the front. Not the usual uh, artist. I quite like the camouflage scheme, um, steel wheels. Quite a sturdy box. It's got uh, camouflage schemes on the side as usual, six different types. Uh, the back of the box has um, got a picture of the tank which has been constructed, so it's actually a photo. Um, it's got some nice details of all the options you have, shows you the extras you get with the kit, um, um, styrene tracks, some of the brass. Uh, there's quite a lot there. Uh, there's actually a spring for the um, the barrel, so it actually recoils. That's quite cool. Uh, and on the side, you've got some uh, close-up detail pictures. Let's open the box. First of all, you have the instructions. Um, let's go a bit wider on this. Uh, I'd say black and white, but they actually got blue in it. Um, so it's blue, black and white. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and everything else broken down. Usual, very good, um, clear instructions. Uh, you've got the painting the markings uh, in the blue. I, I think I'd prefer them on a separate sheet, which I've seen, seen on some kits now, uh, especially Trumpeter, um, where you actually get the colour. Um, I think that's a lot nicer. Uh, what we've got, uh, you've got um, Normandy 1944, again Normandy 1944, Poland 1944, Normandy again, simply mostly Normandy, oh, and, it, and it, Italy as well. So that's instructions. You um, get the new Dragon um, Styrene tracks. Um, the Styrene track, you now you see the detail there, um, very flexy. Um, looks like good quality detailing, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm still yet to be convinced by these. I prefer individual tracks. Uh, you've got the tops. You've got uh, two different types there, looks like. A, uh, a weld line there, and then on the other side, there's, there's it's actually just kind of folded steel. Different types of manlet. Um, I can't really see any difference there. Oh, yeah, let's see. Holes there, different detail there. Loader's hatch for above. Um, I think these are flare pistol um, hatches. I can presume they open up and you can fire a flare from there. In fact, there's actually the detail for the flare, or I think it's some kind of flare or smoke dispenser of some sort. Another manlet again, and um, then the back. Um, I'm not sure what the rest of the other bits of bobs are. I have to look at the instructions. You've got some periscopes there. Commander's hatch. Oh yeah, it must be where it glues on. Quite smooth. Good detail. Uh, and then the MG ring. Uh, and some seats. Uh, you get a nice kind of brass. Um, Metal cables, two different types of cupola, um, cleats and tools for tracks. Oh, and the uh, the jack. Um, nice, clear, uh, see-through panel parts for the periscopes and uh, details. Uh, lamps, I should imagine as well. And uh, stickers or decals. Uh, all back for the nice cardboard back. Yeah, the sides and the sprockets and the um, cowling for the exhausts. Quite nice. Details, very uh, nice. Nice pitted effect on this cover here. Um, I think that just goes on the back. Uh, some kind of so know, a filter, air filter cover of some kind. Top. It's flexed slightly. I don't know if that's because it's been boxed for so long. I mean, two years is quite a long time uh, stacked with other other kits, so it could be partly my fault, um, not Dragons. Um, it's just a little bit warped. You probably have to pin that down. Well, not pin it down, but it's going to take a bit of holding. 
Um, but it looks good, very nice detail. I, I really like this part here. So a lot of very detail, look really nice with a wash. Uh, it's this back part uh, without zimmerats, so you won't use them. Um, you just use the front here. Uh, and then you've got zimmerats sides there, uh, front panels and parts. Uh, stowage bin at the back of the turret, steel wheels, uh, sprockets look nice, should go together okay I think. Back of the sprocket, uh, sort of drive with all the bolts positioned to hold it in together, um, exhaust, armour, rear wheels, uh, shackles for towing. Uh, driver's hatch. Oh, I'm gonna stop with these. Let's see a uh, spring. Um, that's actually moved a little bit, which is a bit annoying. It might even even be dented slightly. But anyway, uh, the guards. I can stop uh, people. The uh, putting uh, hand grenades in through the, the vents. I guess. Um, individually sealed. And then leave the uh, Zimmerat turret, the hatch there, um, part of it's into the top, nice, nice detail you can see. Uh, the hull, sealed individually, uh, all one piece like usual Tiger Tank, pretty much every other Tiger Tank, you've got um, detail underneath, panels, hatches, uh, nice detailing inside there, kind of this is quite a nice detail. Uh, it looks like the fuel tanks, so you actually you'll see them through the the actual gap. And then you've got the fans for cooling, um, hatches inside the hatches, details. Uh, so MG MG34 uh, there, yeah. And then the other bits and details. Again, more lamps. Um, yeah, just lots of detail. Here's the gun barrel sprue. Um, same different, different kind of manlet looks. It's got like a pitted weld around the edge there. That's quite nice. Uh, the barrel's all one piece there and there. Uh, it's, it's not it's not a glued together piece. It's, it's it's actually one piece that slots into it. But then you've got the uh, breech, and then. So a few other parts and there's the muzzle um, and then the car well the heavy steel kind of out part that actually fits into the manlet. I'm surprised they haven't done a metal barrel for this kit. Uh, I would have thought that would have been the case but uh, it doesn't there's no matter I mean, I've got another one somewhere so I could use that but uh, you know anyway it's, you're not going to get that horrible scene where you have to um, file down, you know, for spend ages trying to fill and get it smooth, and not really, you know, never looks really all that good. Uh, you've got you'll have to cut these parts off, but that's still a lot less work than than you'd have to do if you had to glue the barrels together like the old kits. Uh, oh, they all looks very nice. And there's tracks there as well. There's tracks and suspension system. It's like torsion bars. So that's that. Well, that's the unboxing. I um, hope you enjoyed it, it's my first one. Um, I quite like this uh, this tank, so it's it was it seemed like a natural one to do, even if it is a little bit older. Um, but you never know, it might still be on the shelf somewhere and you fancy having a, have a go at it, so at least you can see what's inside the box now, if you can't actually open it in the shop, um, and, and you know, in a little bit more detail. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this, I'm going to do more if I get good feedback. Uh, it's nice to help out other kit builders and, um, you know, it's always good to know what's, what you're getting for your money, especially when you're paying £50 or more, whatever it is in dollars. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you later. ta -ra.